Hi, in this example, we will see how you can use the WhatsApp automation tool to set up a chatbot or a short chat flow to offer quick assistance to your users on WhatsApp. The two requirements for this use case are the official WhatsApp business API and the WhatsApp automation solution by Niswik. Once you have both things in place, here's how you can set up the automation. First, head over to the workflow section in your HubSpot account and create a workflow from scratch. Now within enrollment triggers, you get the additional option to set the trigger based on a WhatsApp message received. And you can further qualify the trigger based on the content of the message received. Now say every time a user sends you any of the words, uh, hi, hello, or good morning, you want to start the chat flow. So this means whenever on WhatsApp, if a user sends you a message which contains any of these words, the chat flow, chatbot will get initiated. Now just for demonstration purpose, I will set one specific phone number. Now as a response to this message, we can send an automatic reply with the action send WhatsApp message. So this will be the first response, which is a greeting message where the user can select either one or two for customer service or sales. Now the challenge here could be that if a user sends hi, hello or good morning at a later stage during the conversation, they could get re-enrolled in the same chat flow and they might receive this greeting message once again. Now to prevent that from happening, we will define the level of the chat flow at which the user is. For that, we have created a custom contact property which defines the stage or the level of the chat flow at which the user is. So this is the level one of the chat flow where they will first receive the greetings message. So uh, WhatsApp level one chat flow active is none of yes because it is not active yet. We will save that. And once they receive the WhatsApp message, the first greeting message, that is when they will have reached the level one of the chat flow. So again, after sending the message, we will set the contact property. We will set the contact property value to be WhatsApp level one chat flow is active. Yes. But if a user needs your assistance at a later time on another day, and if they initiate the conversation again with the, with the words hi hello or good morning in that case we do want to enroll them in this chat flow again so to do that we will re-enroll them and this will make sure that if at another day another time if the user reinitiates the conversation the chat flow will get initiated again now once a user sends a message with uh, sends a reply with one or two what happens next for that, we will create another workflow. So this is the second level of the chat flow and we are creating a new workflow. This is after they have received the greetings message and have replied with either one for customer service or two for sales. So this time, let's say they have selected one. So WhatsApp message received will be equal to one for customer service. And uh, again, the WhatsApp chat flow level one will be active. So when you receive the message one, we want to reply, we want to automatically send the reply for welcome to customer service and they will get additional options to either create a ticket or ask for support. Now, once they have received this message, we want to, we want to move them to the second level of the chat flow. So WhatsApp chat flow level one will become, will be not active. And the WhatsApp 
in the WhatsApp level 2 chat flow will become active. Now, uh, now the user will either select, will either reply with the word ticket or support or call and to move ahead from that point we will create a new workflow again. Now let's say the user wants to create a ticket so they respond with the word ticket on WhatsApp. So in the enrollment triggers, we will set the trigger to be equal to ticket. Now the level of the chart flow on WhatsApp will be level 2 is active, yes. Now as a response, we can send an automated reply saying, give us a moment, we will create a ticket. that we will create a ticket so create a record assign it to a specific user or the contact owner for this example I will assign it to a specific user add all the details and save it now once the ticket is created we can then send a response saying your ticket has been created Additionally, let's also send the ticket number of the newly generated ticket along with this message. For that, we've created a custom contact property called latest ticket number. Now to update this contact property with the ticket number generated, we will create a new workflow. Uh, we will create a ticket based workflow. And in the enrollment triggers, we will select the filter type as ticket Status, which is any of new now within actions we want to copy the contact property we want to copy the ticket property value which is ticket ID we want to copy the ticket ID to the contact property that we just created The latest ticket number now this will ensure whenever a new ticket is created that ticket id will get copied to the contact property latest ticket number will get updated here in the message and the number will get sent along with it let's also add a time delay of one minute to make sure the id gets updated in the contact property now once this message has been sent, this chart flow will get over which means the user will now exit the conversation. So now we will set the contact property value WhatsApp chat flow level 2 to be not active. Now this will ensure that if the user reinitiates the entire conversation from the beginning, they will get re-enrolled in the conversation if they send any of the words hi, hello or good morning. Now let's say the user has replied with support since they want to speak to a support agent. So in the enrollment triggers, the WhatsApp message received will be equal to support. And the level of the chat flow would be level 2 is active, yes. Now when they respond with support, we can send an automated reply saying, please give us a minute. So this can be the first response. 
once this message has been sent we can then assign a contact owner using the rotate contact to owner here you can select a team of people say three or four support agents and then every time a request comes in the contact owner will be assigned at random for this example i will select a specific user now again as a response on whatsapp we can send a message saying an agent has been assigned to your request and they will contact you shortly Additionally, we will also set up a notification for the contact owner telling them that a particular user requires support. Please get in touch with them. You can use contact tokens to personalize the notification. Once this message has been sent, again the chatbot or the chat flow is completed. So now the contact property, the level of the chat flow level 2 is not active anymore. So this will again ensure that if the user wants to reinitiate the entire chat flow, they can start from hi, hello and good morning. Additionally, once the contact owner is assigned, before sending this message, uh, and a support agent will contact you. We can add a delay of say one minute just so the agent can get prepared and then contact the user for the query. So I have now turned on all the workflows and I will send in a WhatsApp query to initiate the chat flow. So I have received the first greeting message and I will reply with one for customer service. Let's request for support first. So the first message is here. So after a delay of one minute, the second message has been delivered. Additionally, as you can see, the notification has also been sent uh, about the contact requires your support. Please reply. This will be notified to the contact owner so now this chat flow is completed let's reinitiate it and create a ticket this time i will again reply with one for customer service And this time request a ticket. The first message has been delivered and now there will be a delay of one minute. So now the second message has been delivered along with the unique ticket ID generated. And additionally, I have also received a notification about the new ticket that is created from the chat flow. So this is how you can create a chatbot or a short chat flow using the HubSpot workflow and the WhatsApp automation tool to offer quick assistance to your users on WhatsApp. To see more use cases and to explore the capabilities of the tool, please visit our YouTube channel. Thank you.